going to start off this look by priming the lid using MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW15. Picking up Soft Brown, which is a golden peachy matte brown shadow from MAC, I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush to buff this all over the lid and through the crease, mainly focusing the shadow in the crease, blending slightly upwards onto the brow bone. Then I'm going to go in with Charcoal Brown from MAC, which is a matte taupey brown shadow, onto a Sigma E20 short shader brush. I'm going to line the upper lash line, pressing the shadow as close to the lashes as possible. Then picking up Charcoal Brown on that blending brush, I'm going to apply a small amount to the outer corner and a little bit into the crease to define that area a little more. Going into the Naked 2 palette, I'm picking up Foxy, a matte creamy shadow to highlight under the brow. Then taking Chopper, which is a beautiful copper shadow with silver micro glitter, onto an Urban Decay flat shader brush, and I'm going to pat this all over my lid. I'm then going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and apply more of Chopper on top of that. This shadow is definitely beautiful as is, but when applied wet, I think it just makes it look even more gorgeous. Blend at the crease. Then taking this black pen liner from Maybelline, I'm going to thinly line the upper lash line, slightly winging it at the outer corner. And as you can see here, I'm using short strokes. Working with short strokes really helps with control and makes it so much easier to work with. I'm also going to apply a line at the outer corner of my lower lash line, winging it out slightly, then smudging it with my finger. And then with the gold crystal liner from NYX, I'm going to line in between the two outer corner lines. With Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil, I'm just going to line the upper inner rim. Then I'm going to take Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Liner to line the lower waterline to really help open up the eyes. Then I'm going to prepare for falsies, so I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous Million Lashes Excess in black to the upper and lower lashes. I'm going to prep my falsies. I'm using Ardell's 109 Lashes with Duo Adhesive. And then while that glue is getting tacky, I'm going to take Booty Call to highlight the inner corner and a little bit of Chopper to finish off the lower lash line. Apply the falsies. And then we're going to curl the lashes to blend the falsies with the natural lashes. Time to fill in the brow. I'm using the light brown powder from this Anastasia kit to line and fill in any sparse areas. I'm then going to go in and set my brow after that using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And comb through to blend with a spoolie. Moving on to the face, I'm going to start with a primer. I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This primer is amazing. I really, really, really like it. For foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW15, dotting it all over my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with a dampened beauty blender. I honestly can't tell you how much I love the beauty blender. It is seriously an awesome beauty tool. Then I'm going to do some spot concealing with the Studio Finish Concealer. Then taking the darkest shade in this Sonia Kasha Concealer Palette, I'm going to run this down the sides of my nose with a finger to contour. I like to also go around the tip of my nose. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that to contour the cheeks. With Maybelline's Dream Loomy Touch Highlighting Concealer, I'm going to apply this to brighten underneath the eyes, above the lip, in the center of my brows, and down the bridge of my nose. And then going to smile and highlight around the mouth. Then blend all that contouring and highlighting with the Dampened Beauty Blender.
You can also definitely use your fingers for this. I just love the effect that the Beauty Blender gives. And taking Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder with a Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush, I'm going to sweep this across the T-zone, chin, and forehead. Then with a Real Techniques Setting Brush, I'm going to set and highlight under the eyes with Dim Light from Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Palette. Taking a Real Techniques Contour Brush, I'm going to pick up Laguna Bronzer from NARS and contour the cheeks around the frame of my face and under the jaw, also a little bit down the sides of my nose. then going to pick up a little bit more of Laguna onto a Real Techniques powder brush to blend the cheek contour as well as gently warm up the face so it's not so harsh. Taking Gingerly by MAC which is a sheer tone bronzy blush onto a Real Techniques blush brush, I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks, sweeping upwards. Now taking incandescent light from the Hourglass Ambient Palette on that setting brush, I'm going to highlight the highs of my cheeks, above the brow, and a little onto the cupid's bow. Then taking this Kardashian Enjoy Stick in Nude Beach, I'm going to apply this to the center of my lips. Then on the outer portion of my lips, I'm going to apply Ravon's Lacquer Balm in Enticing. Then I'm going to add some lip gloss. This is Lorac's Lip Gloss in Chuck. And smack my lips together to create this beautiful neutral lip. So that completes my neutral holiday makeup look. If you wanted to take this makeup look another notch, I think this look would look great with a red lip. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I hope that you have a beautiful day and a happy holidays. Bye! For a full list of products shown in this video, check out my blog at truebeautyliveswithinyou.blogspot.com. And for more entertainment and other beauty videos from me, be sure to check out mirrorsmagazine.com.